children that are able to bandage, the parents do it for a couple reasons. One is prevent bacteria from getting mm -hmm. in there, so that's one. The other one is to prevent further injury. So if, because children, when they're active, yeah, they, they go and they'll just rip their skin open without even realizing what they're doing. Um, so to be able to you know to turn around and uh, change these bandages is very it's a very painful process. It typically takes anywhere between three to six hours a day to change bandages because you have to very carefully take the bandages off or you'll take their skin with it. It's a very debilitating disease. The other issue, unfortunately for the families, it's a very, not only the emotional toll, but the financial toll. Um, bandages for these type of patients is, are very expensive. They can run on average anywhere between six and $15,000 a month for the bandages, and majority of those are not reimbursed. So the families have to put that out of pocket in addition to everything else that they're doing for their child on a daily basis. So it's, it's, a, it's a very difficult disease.